Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Katie and I usually do subscription box unboxings, so things like makeup, skincare, that type of stuff, but also other things. So if that sounds interesting, definitely check out some of my other videos if you feel like it. You can also come back on Sundays and Wednesdays because that's when I usually try to post. But today is a Friday because I wanted to get something out there uh, as quick as I could. Ended up being less quick than I anticipated, but such is life. Such is life, the things we live with, the things we go through. Um, but today is, I'm opening up the Whole Foods Beauty Bags. So exciting. So if you're unfamiliar, Whole Foods is a grocery store with like, I mean everyone knows what Whole Foods is, but like a bent towards organic, natural, that type of stuff. I think the only toothpaste with fluoride they sell is Tom's, that type of thing. Um, which is just how I judge what type of grocery store it is. Um, but they do have a lot of beauty products there and a lot of uh, brands that I tend to enjoy. And this week is beauty week. I'm not sure of the dates. I feel like it started like on Wednesday. It's like a Wednesday to a Wednesday. Um, so check the dates, but for all of beauty week, 25% off their beauty products. So go check it out if there's products you know that they have and you like or you want to check it out. I do know that in certain Whole Foods, Face 3, one of my favorite brands, is now there. They're now selling face three sheet masks at certain Whole Foods. None uh, near me. I have two near me and that's not at either of them. So that's kind of, I mean, uh, so I have to order them online, I guess. Um, but check it out. So you could get those 25% off right now if it's in the Whole Foods near you. Um, but today I have the beauty bags, which came out this Friday today of Beauty Week. So if you're interested, they may still have some. Call before you go just to make sure. Um, but these are $20 each. Says it on the tag. There are two different types. There's the Glow Up Beautiful and the New Essentials. Again, both $20 with a full and sample size products. So that's exciting. This one is uh, worth $135 is what they're telling me. And this one also worth $135 plus. plus. No. What does that mean? I don't know. It means more, but like... Uh, how do you calculate value with sample sizes and stuff? So anyway, I'm going to be opening these up and you can see if you're interested. Go check them out. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Glow Up Beautiful. Let me arrange these in a way that makes sense so I can easily pick them up and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's see what's in the Glow Up Beautiful beauty bag. First up, we've got, I have a little pamphlet that I'm following, by the way, so I'm not just making this up. Not that good at writing copy. So I have a hair somewhere. It's like on my glasses. Do glasses grow hair? I feel like science says no, but experience says yes. Um, Alright, so first up we have Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Cleanser. This is two fluid ounces made with certified organic cherry, lemon, and aloe juices. This daily cleanser clears while it hydrates. Very excited about this. Juice Beauty is something I've seen about, but I've never tried, so it'll be exciting to give it a try. Um, by the way, I'm splitting this with like a friend, so all of this is not for me, just to curb any comments about overconsuming. You can make those in other videos much more validly. Um, no, it's valid here too. But uh, that's, a, that's the world. That's the world we live in. Um, it's the world I choose to live in. Better or worse, tell me down below. Next up, we have the Deluxe Sample Vitamin C from Mad Hippie. This is a brand I really do like. They also have um, like a rosehip oil or something that I really, really like. It's just very nourishing on the skin. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. A follow through on your morning face wash with this serum that will have you glowing for that 9 a.m. meeting. So it's half an ounce. Here we go. Just kind of cute. Excited about this. So it has konjac root, ferulic, and hyaluronic acid. Sounds great to me. I have to be careful with like oils. Um, but this is a serum, so we'll see uh, see what the ingredients look like. Vitamin C is the second ingredient. Water, deionized, and then uh, vitamin C, which is in the form of sodium ascorbyl phosphate. So I don't know uh, what that means, but I do know that. Uh, that's what it comes in. All right, next up we have the Alafia Everyday Coconut Vegan Lip Balm, purely coconut. I'm excited about this and that, and that I love a lip balm, but I recently had an incident where um, I was with a friend, like I had my tote bag, and the tote bag fell, and I'm not even kidding, like eight lip products fell out, and it was just personally, on a personal level, embarrassing for me, and I couldn't justify that situation to either myself or my friend. So until that gets worked out, I'm not opening any new lip products. 
but I'm excited to, <laughs> to, excited to have it. Um, next up, this smells so good, I think. Um, this is like making the whole bag smell really, really good. This is the, oh, the lip balm was full size. I'm sure you could have, you could tell, but this is the Ren Pure Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Serum. So I'm interested in this. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, doesn't have any sulfates or parabens, which is great because I try not to use those on my hair. Plant-based beauty. Healthy looking hair starts at the scalp. Agreed, a warrior, gross one. Infused with plant-based conditioning nutrients, our scalp serum goes deep into your hair cuticles to give you the appearance of softer, shinier, and smoother hair. Apple cider vinegar serum helps rebalance your scalp with natural oils to remove buildup, leave your hair feeling refreshed and conditioned. Interesting. So you put it on after um, shampooing and then rinse out. I'm excited to try this. Oh my jeez. I'm too busy reading to focus on myself. You know, classic Katie problem. Um, so I'm really excited about this. What does it say right here? Post shampoo serum gingerly. Yeah. So yeah, excited. I tend to have an oilier scalp, like just I like, get um oily, I think relatively quickly, quicker than I'd like, <laughs> right? Um so I'm excited to see what that does. I know that R Co also has an apple cider vinegar, but I think it's a rinse, not a serum. So I'm interested to see well compare ingredients, see if they look different or the same. But it smells awesome. I'm in love with the smell. All right, next up we have Shea Moisture, classic brand. Um, love Shea Moisture. Who doesn't? But this is head to toe nourishing hydration, 100% extra virgin coconut oil, 33, 30, 3.2 fluid ounces. This single ingredient treatment can moisturize, condition, hydrate hair, skin, plus it removes makeup. So I'm excited about this. I don't use um, this to remove makeup, but I know that some people do. Um, I use it. Usually, like, in the winter on dry skin, I actually really do like it, so I'm excited to have this. I usually just use the Trader Joe's one, but since it's so big, I feel like it gets grubby really quick. I don't know if that's an uh, experience anyone else has. Let me open this up. It's close. But yeah, but I'm almost out of the Trader Joe's, so I'm excited to have this in the wings waiting. Next up, we have a little sample size, the point two to three fluid ounces. This is the, I see this Willetta but uh, I don't know if that's right. Sheer Hydration Daily Cream. How should you handle skincare? Well, duh, you should use Weletta's Weightless a Breathable 24-Hour Moisturizer. Is, that, is this for your face or, yes, smooth onto face, neck, and decolletage after cleansing, ideal for both morning and night. Yeah, excited. I have their hand cream. I got one for Christmas and it's awesome. I love it so, so much. So I'm excited to give this a try. It, the second uh, ingredient is a safflower oil, then alcohol, then glycerin, then aloe. I'm not great with safflower oil, so maybe I'll pass this on, but uh, excited to maybe give it a try. Next up, we have one point fluid ounces of Pacifica Beauty Seafoam Complete Face Wash. So let's see what it says. Get in touch with the ocean and use marine phytonutrients to remove makeup and clean skin at the same time. And just like with the Juice Beauty one, I'm excited to... Uh, have a kind of travel-y face wash. I do like Pacifica Beauty a lot. I use the bronzer blush duo like all the time. That's all, that's the only bronzer I ever wear because it's the only bronzer I own and I tried it and it worked and I'm like, not gonna buy another one. <laughs> Unlike every other makeup item I own, I only need one of that. So excited to try this. I get two cleansers. I think that's kind of exciting, kind of fun. Um, maybe I'll split, split the cleansers. We'll see. Let me know which one. Do you have experience with either? Is one better? Which one should I not give to my friend and keep for myself? Let me know. So next up we have the Seaweed Bath Company Detox Hair Repairing Mask. This is 1.5 fluid ounces. So this feels like a good chunk. You could definitely split this into two, I think. As long as I could. I don't have that much hair. Um, so not only is seaweed delicious and a delicious snack and a sushi hugger, but it can also leave your hair looking healthier than ever. So this is exciting. It detoxifies, restores, and nourishes your hair and scalp. Deep conditioning formula with nourishing bladder wax, seaweed, apple cider vinegar, aloe, French clay, coconut, and French clay and coconut oil. Yeah. Cool. Really excited. I've never, this is why I wanted to get this, because there are a lot of brands in here that I've seen around, because I, I don't know, I see them. I look, I look, I investigate, but I've never tried these, so excited to try this. 
Next up, we have a Whole Foods facial sheet mask. This is a facial sheet Cooper mask, soothing avocado, cotton liner. Looks pretty good. Y'all know I have like a jillion sheet masks. I probably won't use this because when I eat avocado, my mouth feels funny. So um, I'm worried about putting it on my face. I also have another avocado mask because I can't get rid of. No one will take it from me. Um, so I might pass this on. But uh, I'm excited. I would kind of want to... Maybe I'll try another Whole Foods mask because I want to see what they're like. Alright, moving on, moving forward. Next up, we have kind of a duo. This is a Cure, which is a brand I have tried before and do really like, but this is a Juice Cleanse Super Greens Shampoo and Conditioner Pair. Little sample, sample, one fluid ounce each. So these are full of herbs and super greens. It has ashwagandha, spinach, kale, and holy basil. This is really exciting. Um, I love travel shampoos and stuff. Uh, means I don't have to travel with my full size stuff because I don't uh, want to use what people just leave for like hotel stuff. Um, because I'm picky and high maintenance. So I'm excited to have these. They're really cool. I wonder if I can smell it. I think I can. They smell really herbal. Like, what's that smell like? It smells basil-y, but not spinachy or kale -y. Maybe that's the ashwagandha. But it smells really, really good. I like that. I've never really smelled that in hair care before. Yeah, into it. Into it. Next up, something uh, I'm super excited about. This is the Alba Botanical Pimple Patches. So, uh, say goodnight to breakouts. Literally, dermatologist tested acne treatment patches stay in place while you sleep. I'm like an acne patch fiend. I just put them on sometimes for fun, even if I don't like... I mean, I need them a lot, but I don't like... Even if I don't, I just like testing them out. Um, I like comparing different brands. So far, my favorite are the Peach and Lily ones. They're really, really good. But I recently got the um, the Elisha Koi ones, I think, from Facetory. The Tetra Force Elisha Koi ones. And those gave the Peach and Lily ones a run for their money. I have to see which one's more expensive for, like, whatever. Um, yardage, square inch, square centimeter. But I'm excited to try these. I love trying out a new, a new patch. Yeah, free of latex. Great. Latex kind of like bothers me a little. Interesting. Yeah, so tea tree, witch hazel, lentil, and then parsley are the ingredients. Interesting. Alright, and next up we have a Yes to Avocado fragrance, fragrance Free Clean Mask for Dry Skin, which is what I have. It's so great. Uh, with hyaluronic acid to hydrate. Take five minutes with this mask and feel the power of avocado and shea butter. Uh, why do they keep giving me avocado? Again, I probably will try to pass this on because uh, avocado makes me feel weird. Not bad, not like an allergic reaction. I'm not trying to act like I'm sitting here with an EpiPen, but it just makes me feel weird. Maybe it's because it's so fatty. I'll try it on my skin. I'll try it and see how it goes because now I have like at this point four avocado masks. Oh, okay, so next, next, next. This is a lot. It's a big bag. I have a whole nother one of these to do. Can you believe that? This is going to be a long video. Not long for me, anyway. Alright. We have the... Would be helpful if it was in focus? I've been not been checking if any of these are in focus, so... I'm a little over-caffeinated today. I've got a new a batch of Nespresso pods, so... I have to try every single flavor. Does it even matter if you can... There we go. Oh, my face just likes being the center of attention. This is the Evan Healy Rose Vetiver Harmonizing Balm. Plumping vetiver and adaptogenic rose geranium unite in a balm that moisturizes dry and combination skin. I want to smell this. Mmm. So, uh, yeah. Very, very floral. If you've ever smelled anything that's like been described as a vetiver scent, it, it hits those notes for me. This is really nice. What's in here? Let me see. So I don't know like what, like it's just like a hand balm, like just, oh, dry skin, put this on. Yeah, so this has sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, beeswax, you can tell by the, how it looks, olive oil, calendula, mmm, jojoba, love jojoba, cocoa, butter, rose hip, rose geranium, vetiver, carrot seed essential oil, clary sage, and vitamin E. It smells great. I, I like these types of smells, like the kind of like herbally, medicine-y almost smells. I really, I like them. So, I also like that type of stuff in food, too. Like, I like rose ice cream and things like that. Like, I'm, it's soapy. I will eat it. All right, next up we have the Coco Kind Resurfacing Sleep Mask. 
Love this brand so much. Um, highly recommend anything from Coco Kind. 25% off at Whole Foods right now. If you don't want to buy this bag, you can check out something from them. Now this is a resurfacing sleep mask. So a gentle overnight serum that combats dryness, redness, and signs of aging. Talk about beauty rest. Let's see what's in it. Cucumber fruit water. Interesting. Cellulose, jojoba seed oil. Interesting. A lot of oils, so I might have to be careful with it. But uh, interesting. Interesting. Let's see, so this is half of who announced. The Evan Healy was full size, the Acne Patches were full size, the Yes2 Mask was full size. So we have a good chunk of full size items, just FYI. But that is a sample. Next up, we have a brand I have not heard of, never tried. This is the Andalou Naturals Miniature Plant Based Retinol Alternative with Bacuchiol. Synergetic blend of squalene. Aloe vera and lavender fights against signs of aging like wrinkles and sunspots. Interesting. AM and PM. Use everywhere. My roommate is playing, um, wow. And, uh, apparently it's a really exciting raid. Um, alright, so really excited about this. I feel like I had a good molecules item with Bakuchi on and I'll, maybe I'll look that up and and educate myself. But I'm interested about the plant-based retinol. What do they usually make it from? I should have looked that up. Um, but yeah, excited about this. It's a, I like that it's a sample size because I've never tried it. Alright, next up we have the Trilogy Rosehip Oil Antioxidant Plus. So this has rosehip seed oil, solanum, or aka tomato seed oil, um, cranberry seed oil, and then uh, acai and then some other stuff so this says nourish your complexion with antioxidants from acai tomato seeds and cranberry and one powerful facial oil so I usually um whoops, try to steer clear of oils on my face because my face tends not to like them but I do like using rose hip and stuff on my body um because I feel like it gets rid of like stretch marks and stuff that I have I mean, not really. I still have them, so maybe it doesn't work that well, but um, I do like to think so. Maybe I'll also, this might be one of the things I share, just because it's totally not for my skin type, but I'm excited about it. Let me see if it smells like anything. It's kind of cute, though. I kind of want to keep it just because it's tiny. Nice. It smells like if you've ever had, like, oils that are not scented, it smells like oil. Like canola oil, almost. You know, you don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, so that's the whole bag. So let's take Let's take a moment to review. We've got the Juice Beauty Cleanser. We've got the Vitamin C Serum. We've got the Everyday Coconut Lip Balm. We have the Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Serum, which I'm really excited about. This is a standout for me, just because it smells so good. We have this 100% Extra Virgin Coconut Oil, always a good one. This Weleda Little Mini Moisturizer. We've got this Pacifica Beauty Cleanser. We've got this hair mask. We've got this face mask. Then we also have these two little mini samples. These also smell really good. What is it reminding me of? Like a tea I brew or something is what I'm getting. Anyway, really excited about these. These smell great. Acne patches, also super excited about these. Love to compare. Maybe I'll use like two different at a time. This yes to avocado. Face mask again, probably pass on one of the avocado face masks. We've got this Evan Healy balm, which is also something that smells great. Really excited about that one. We've got a Coco Kind resurfacing mask. Excited, but I'll have to do more research because it does have some oils in it that are not necessarily for me. This, really excited to try. It's the rejuvenating plant-based retinol cream. And then we have the rose hip oil. So a pretty good haul. Again, this was only $20. I feel like it's a great deal. They don't give any prices in this, um, but I can try to add up at least the full price stuff below. If I can, if it's out there, no promises for future information. Do not take information for granted. Um, so yeah, okay, so that is the Glow Up Beautiful Beauty Bag from Whole Foods. Next up, we have the new essentials bag. So let me put away this stuff back into the bag. Let me open this up and get it organized and then I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So this is the new essentials bag. It comes in this cute little purple one. 
It was, like the other one, $20. So let's get into what's actually in here. And there are some repeats between this one and the last one. So just keep that in mind. If you get both of them, you will get some repeats. But if you have friends, you can share them. That's what happens to me. I end up just giving most of the crap I get away. But it's fun getting it. It's the getting that's exciting. And then the giving, right? The actual having is just a nuisance. Um, no, no, I'm excited to have all these. So let's get into it. Next up, first up? Next in the grand scheme, first in this segment, is another Evan Healy, but this is a blue cactus cleansing balm. No cooling balm. So excited about this. Ooh, this one smells really good. But like what? I'm not great at smells, but this one also, uh... Smells good. I think I like the other smell a little bit better though. So let's see. Uh, far from prickly, this cactus ball melts into your skin with a silken layer of skin happy antioxidants and vitamin E. Very cool. I like these six. This is like just, it looks like a lip balm, I think, visually. And I think when I saw the pictures, it was like, oh, it's a chunky lip balm. But no, it's like a, it's thick. It's like, there's a finger. Yeah. Cool. So that's first up. Second up, it feels like a repeat, but it's not. It is. Juice Beauty, but this is cleansing milk. So a two fluid ounces here. Creamy cleanser and makeup remover that refreshes with chamomile, calendula, and organic grape. So excited about this. Again, haven't tried anything from Juice Beauty, so I'll probably pick one of the cleansers and give the other one to my friend or see if she has a preference. I think I might prefer this one. I have dry skin, so I tend to prefer kind of creamy, cleansy that type of stuff cleansers. So there we go. Next up is a repeat. It is a Seafoam Complete Face Wash from Pacifica. Again, excited about this. 1.4 fluid ounces, like I said, get in touch with the ocean. Touching the ocean twice today. So yeah, excited to have a double just because it makes it easier to share. But just so you know, that is a, that's the one uh, actual, actual repeat. Sure, they don't intend people to buy two. Um, next up, another Mad Hippie item, but a little bit different. It is the Deluxe Sample Vitamin A. So this is also point fluid ounces. This is a next level exfoliating, exfoliating serum. Watch out, wrinkles and sun damage. I have both, so yeah. May uh, include increased skin sensitivity. So it has HPR and sodium hyaluronic, which is a form of hyaluronic acid. Uh, very exciting. The second ingredient is aloe. Nice. Oh, and this has an oh, beta gluten. I like that. It has glycerin in it. That's great. It's a moisturizer. This looks this looks pretty good. I'm liking that one. All right. Next up, we have three ounces, a mini nail polish remover from Mineral. Excuse me. So this vegan solution removes old polish and primes, preps, and helps you clean your nails for the next uh, color of the moment. Very exciting. What's in here? Methyl acetate, isopropyl miserate fragrance. What does it smell like? I'm always interested in nail polish remover smells. I use a lot of nail polish remover. I can't open this. I'm a child. Maybe it's not meant to be. It definitely doesn't smell like acetone. It just smells clean. Interesting. I mean, it has a cover, so. <coughs> Coughing. Not from the nail polish remover, from unidentified particles in my throat. So, excited about that. I do paint my nails a lot, and I'm always looking for acetone alternatives. Acetone works the best. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it doesn't. I've tried the, the one with the elephant. That's acetone-free and vegan and all that stuff and it was okay but it was really expensive and you know I'll just damage my nails instead um all right so excited about that excited to see if it puts uh puts acetone on their own so next we have a little tiny 0.17 fluid ounces my shell dermaceuticals remarkable retinol serum so this fixture of your pre-bedtime routine brightens your skin's appearance with vitamin A, orange plant, and, and orange plant stem cells. Ah, nice. Exciting. Apply in the PM on clean skin. Nice little sample of that. Next up we have a duo. This is the Pure Zero Clean Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. Hydrating. So, no sulfates, no parabens. No dyes, no phosphates, 
no phthalates, no gluten. Nice, so these are both two ounces. So again, like I said, sulfate, paraben, phosphate, phthalate, and dye-free, PETA certified, cruelty-free. Nice, exciting, again, love the sample shampoo and conditioner. All right, next up, something I'm really excited about, but uh, for reasons explained earlier, I won't be opening anytime soon, but it's the Weleda Skin Food Lip Butter. This is one of my favorite brands. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend this brand. So 0.27 fluid ounces, lips hungry for nutrients. Look no further. This butter can leave your lips feeling delicately soft, even in cold conditions. So excited about that. It's a classic. It's really good. It's tiny, but a little bit goes a long way. Like uh, just, you know, like it's that tiny. All right, so I was uh, lamenting the avocado in the last Whole Foods mask, but got another one. This is the Acai Age-Defying Relaxing Facial Sheet Mask. One mask. So excited about that. Let's see what's in it. Cotton Cupra face masks are made with 100% cotton linter. Soft downy fiber surrounding the cotton seed. Interesting. High level of liquid retention and adhesion. We'll see about that. Like I said, I've been interested in trying out the different mask fibers, so uh, Cotton Cupra up next. All right, another sheet mask in, no, first, sorry, <laughs> I'm an idiot, I'm not looking at stuff. Next up, but you have a sneak peek of what's coming, is another Acura product, little tiny one. This is uh, a quarter of a fluid ounce, 0.25. This is the Acure Brightening, where is, Maybe. I'm focusing, I cannot tell. But this is the Brightening Vitamin C Jelly Mask. Excited about this. I love the container. I love a glass container because I can wash them out and reuse them. Just to hold tiny amounts of things. I don't know if you're traveling. Who's traveling? I didn't even travel that much before. I just hold on to containers like this, being like, oh, I'll use that when I travel. But then I don't like. That's also not what's happening during normal times, so. But you can save these. And they're easier to recycle because they're glass. This is glass. All right. Next up, now the sheet mask. Another Acure product. This is the Ultra Hydrating Cream Sheet Mask. Let's see what's going on. Ashwagandha and turmeric join forces with spinach and spirulina in the skin hydrating dream team you can wear on your face. Interesting. It also has holy basil, reishi, and turmeric, like I said, prickly pear seed oil, and squalene. I wonder if it smells, if it smells anything like the shampoo and conditioner smells, this will smell really good. It'll be interesting to see if it does, because if it doesn't, then I can narrow down the, what smells like what. Very good. Elimination game. So excited about that. Uh, next up, we have some more shampoo. This is the Avalon Organics Soothing Moisture Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Shampoo. Don't get it closer. Don't put it in the air. Put it in your hair. This cannabis infused shampoo provides a rich cleansing lather. Interesting. Well, I mean, all organic ingredients. All of this stuff is organic you know, certified, that type of stuff. Interesting, so I'm interested to see uh, formulated for dry hair and scalp that need a boost of nourishment. So it's interesting because I feel like the ends of my hair are dry but the top isn't, so I wonder um, wonder if this will work for me. Uh, spoiler, I got two. I don't know why, but uh, I'm just talking about this one. So yeah, I checked, they're the same thing, don't worry. Um, did I check good enough? <laughs> we'll see, I'm not going back. We'll just have to see how confident, uh, how deserved my confidence was. Interesting. So yeah, interested to try this. See if it works. I don't know what cannabis is supposed to do for your hair or like sativa or anything like that. Um, also don't know what it's supposed to do for your skin. I know some people say it helps with their redness, but I don't have um, any red in my hair. So I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I educate myself. Next up from a brand I really, really like, Derma E. This is the Vitamin C Gentle Daily Cleansing Paste. I love these little sample packets. They remind me of like baby food or like runner food. So this is 0.67 fluid ounces. Wake up, glow up. This daily exfoliating cleanser provides a radiant boost from turmeric. Interesting. It's interesting that it's um supposed to be daily, but also an exfoliator. Um, so I wonder how gentle and or not gentle the exfoliation is since it's you're using it every day. Um, because... Don't over exfoliate, that's not great for your skin. You want to leave your skin on. 
uh, whenever possible. So, yeah, interesting. You can also use it as a mask. Or you can just put it on and then leave it until dry. Hmm. Excited to check that out. Again, this is a brand I really, really like. 25% off at Whole Foods. Check it, check it out if you feel like it. Next up, the second. Um, there we go. I read so much during the day that it's hard to do it not um, when I'm being paid to. Um, Alright, so next up, the second actual, actual repeat is the Olivia Everyday Coconut Vegan Lip Balm, Purely Coconut. Again, I have a lot of lip care products. I'm excited about this. I mean, I'll give one away, but I uh, can't open any right now. That's the promise I've made to myself. But excited about it. It's a good size. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up, a brand I'm really excited to see, but again, I've never tried. A lot of the Whole Foods products, I see them around and I read about them, but I don't try them because it's like, I don't go to Whole Foods that often. Um... Only it's kind of a last resort grocery store for me because it's not the most expensive But it's also not the cheapest and both the ones near me are like strangely stocked So it's not there's no guarantee the item I need is gonna be, it's gonna be there So I don't go that often, but when I do I always walk past the beauty aisle and I'm interested so next up Is the Dr. Hauschka skincare Kints Kints Day cream probably Kints so I'm going for that sounds better. So this is a uh, one fluid ounce. Interesting. Hydrates and protects for normal to slightly dry skin. Has quince seed, marshmallow, and witch hazel. Interesting to soothe and hydrate. Yeah. Hmm. The second ingredient is apricot kernel oil. So maybe I'll pass this one. I have to check out the ingredients in all of these and ask my friend what she prefers. But I'm excited to see this brand. If I don't try it, I'll at least get to hear from her what she thinks about it. So yeah. So there we go. So there we go. And then, last up, the final one. I don't know why, but like, the branding on this one is kind of making me laugh. Like, this is definitely not something I would ever pick up just because I'm a snob about like, not even a snob, I just am like, highly susceptible to, to branding. Um, so I'm not like, discerning about it, I'm just susceptible to it. Which is the worst combo. But I don't know, isn't that... I feel like I see like, images like these on all like, the hair salons that I or near, near me in my neighborhood. This like very airbrushed image. Oh, interesting, but hey, maybe if I look like this afterwards, I won't complain. This is the Giovanni Too Chic Clarifying and Calming Wintergreen and Blue Tansy Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. Hmm, blue Tansy. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's blue. Cause Blue Tansy is pretty blue, right? Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, when you need to take five, take it in the shower while this conditioner feeds your roots and leaves your hair with the shine and moisture you're seeking. Interesting. Oh, I love it when they have, um, like, little, they have a little scale. It tells you it's deep conditioning the most. I love scales like that. Just because it gives you a sense of uh, the product. Oh, it's not blue. I feel like, yeah, you can, this is a window in. I like that. I like the window in. It's kind of blue. Kind of blue. Bluish, not warm toned at all, definitely. Interesting. Winter green. I wonder if it's, um, a little tingle. All right, so there we go. That's the end of the new essentials bag. So let's review. We've got an Evan Healy balm. We've got a Juice Beauty cleanser. We've got the Pacifica cleanser. We have a Mad Hippie serum. So like lots of overlap. I feel like these bags are very comparable, but they're a little different. So you can kind of pick which one suits you a little bit better. We've got a Mad Hippie. We've got this nail polish remover. A little retinol serum. This uh, Pure Zero Clean Color Care combo. We have the Oiletta Skin Food. We have the Whole Foods Age Defying Acai Mask. We have the Acure Vitamin C Jelly Mask and the Ultra Hydrating Cream Sheet Mask. We have the Avalon Organics Shampoo with Cannabis Sativa Oil in it. We have the Derma E Vitamin C Gentle Daily Cleansing Paste. We have uh, this everyday coconut lip balm. We have the Dr. Hauschka Quince Day Cream, and then we have the Giovanni Too Chic Hair Mask with Blue Tansy and Wintergreen. Great bag. Again, only $20 for all of this. I will put down the sizes I can find real prices for below, because I don't agree with the idea that you should, you can put the sample sizes like, oh, if you buy this price, then it's this per ounce. It's, not that I don't believe in it, I just don't do that much math. 
So there we go. Those are the two bags. Let me put this back together and then uh, I'll be back for closing thoughts. All right, so these are the two bags. We have the Glow Up Beautiful and the New Essentials. Let me know if you had a favorite, which one you would pick. If you picked up either or both of these, let me know. Let me know I'm not alone and give me both, please. And yeah, let me know if you had a favorite product. Have you tried any of these? Any I should look out for and be excited about? Let me know. I'm really excited about these. I think they're a great deal. Um, so call your local Whole Foods, see if they're carrying them, and snag one if you feel like it. If you do, let me know. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like I said, check back on Sundays and Wednesdays. That's when I usually post. I try to like warn you about bonus videos, but this one was just kind of spur of the moment. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you around. Give this video a like if you feel like it, if you actually liked it, um, and subscribe again if you want to see more. But like I said, you can just come back on the days I mentioned, whatever works uh, with how you like to live your life. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you around.